Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back, and welcome newcomers to the channel. Yes, would you look at that? It's Olight! What? Yes, it's Olight, and they are finally doing another, uh, this is gonna be called a campaign. It is their St. Patrick's Day campaign, and I have some knives and gear that I'm gonna share with you. We're gonna go through it pretty quick, so buckle up, Buttercup. This is the first thing, and as far as I know, this is a first for O knife. You won't believe it. I couldn't believe it. When I looked at the blade, I was like, really? Is this really happening? I don't, I, I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong, but I don't remember seeing this blade steel before, but this is a, uh, well, you know, what do we have here? We have a very cool knife case. And then here's the coin for all you coin collectors, all you folks that love challenge coins. Look at this. It's the Roboto 4 coin, but look at this. So you may or may not like Altum Scales or PEI, but I don't care if you do or not. This knife won me over in about two seconds. It is very, very cool. This is the Olight Roboto 4 with Altum Scales. And they're kind of, uh, kind of the, uh, the brushed Altum, if you will. They're, they're not uh, clear. They're <laughs> opaque. They have, they have the tiniest little bit of micro milling. You can't even see because the camera is making it look fuzzy because it can't even focus on it. But anyway, check this out. It has a reversible deep carry clip. You know I love the Roboto 1. The Roboto 2 and 3 are very cool, but the Roboto 4, this is, this is my new favorite for a couple reasons. I'm getting ready to tell you why. First of all, you can tell that this is going to be super lightweight. This comes in at 2.7 ounces. And look how thin, thinner, look how thin this blade, or not, <laughs> I'm too excited, that's all right. That's the way it goes. It's 1.1 centimeters thick, or 0.43 inches. And this, of course, is, and if you can look here, or if you can, you will, look at that. It's an Omega spring, which means this is a crossbar lock. And are you ready for this blade? It's not only the blade, but it's the blade steel that I'm excited about. You ready? Pow! Right in the kisser. Yeah, look at that. Check that out. Wait till you hear what this blade steel is because it is very exciting for me. It's CPM S35VN blade steel, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And S35 gets such a toothy edge. I can feel the edge of this just grabbing, grabbing the epithelials of my skin. It is unbelievable. This bad boy is 110 thousandths of an inch. Look how thin that blade stock is. That's 2.79 millimeters. And behind the edge, 16 thousandths of an, e of an edge. <laughs> Seven, 16 thousandths of an inch. And look, this is a full flat grind. It has that thin blade stock and it has all that room to get thinner and thinner. And it is such a comfortable knife in the hand. I love how lightweight it is. The ergonomics are fantastic. This is a this is going to be a perfect everyday carry knife. If you like this blade shape, you like this blade style, you like slicier, taller grinds like this, this, oh my goodness, these are like 30 bucks off right now. And I'll have links in the description and in the comment section where stuff that's on sale, or if it's not on sale, I still have a 10% discount code. You already know if you watch my videos, I'm a big Olight fan, and we do have some very cool stuff I'm getting ready to show you after I show you this knife, just for a little bit more. And there's some jipping up top. It's relatively good jipping. I would say it's in the medium category. It's not super aggressive, but this, this handle, if you have large hands, this is going to work for you. Extra large hands, it might be a tad small. Let me back out just a little bit. If you have XL hands, it might be a little bit small for you, but because it doesn't have a flipper, you can choke up just like this. And this is just the perfect EDC. Like I could already see myself peeling an apple with this thing. It is being under three ounces, being in the 2.7 ounce range. And look at this. Excellent blade retention, or you could call it a detent if you want, but it's not a detent, but it holds it in so well. I can flip and fidget with this thing. You can reverse flick it. The thumb studs work very well. And then here's a look, check it out. I love the way they did that. So you can sharpen it and not have to really worry about getting, it depends on how you sharpen, but if you're gonna sharpen in this angle right here, your plunge does end into the heel. So that that depends on your style of whether or not you're gonna get a smile up here or not. But this is, I mean, they, they nailed it. They totally nailed it. I'm not even a huge Ultim fan, but I like this knife simply because of how it feels, the blade, the action on it, the ergonomics, everything. It's a total win. 
fine. And another thing that I totally love, totally dude, totally love is that they don't have a bunch of billboarding. They do have the name of the knife, Roboto 4, but they don't have the big O knife emblem or logo on the side. That I appreciate. If that was on the side, I would not like this knife as much. So that is a major plus. So that is the new Roboto 4. I'm totally excited about it. I don't have any negative things to say. This is gonna be a pocket dropper or in your right pocket, left pocket, in and out of your pocket. <laughs> I love it. I totally love it. Let's check out the next thing. Now this flashlight I'm getting ready to show you is, uh, it's one of my new favorites because, I, well, I'll tell you about that here in just a second. I almost forgot. You get one of these free. Of course, if you're not new to, o, if you are new to Olight, you're not familiar, all you have to do is log on whenever they're having a campaign such as this one. By the way, this campaign is only two days long. So if you're watching this video, I hope you're watching it within the first two days if you want to get the stuff that is on sale or marked down down because that's that's all it's it that's all there is and boom it's over but you get one of these free and it's got to be you don't get your choice though they'll, they'll do it random you get a random one of these i3es which are 90 lumens one of the best keychain flashlights out there and i have obviously i have a collection but i love these flashlights i talk about them all the time they're the one of the best gifts to get anybody because everybody will love one of these but let's get into this oh my gosh okay here we go this is the olight javelot Oh my goodness, this thing is so freaking cool. And uh, as you can tell here, it comes with a, a sheath, which it's nice and clicky in and out of the sheath. You can take it, you can put it on and off your belt without having to run your belt through it or take your belt off. That is very nice. And besides that, it comes with a two directional pocket clip, which you can have facing up or facing down. So I like that you have the option, however you choose or however you like to carry it. Now, let's take a look. Look at this bad boy. Check it out. It has a metal side switch and it has a tactical tail switch. It's a two stage tail switch. So you can just barely, lightly press it for low or you can lightly press it and quickly and it will stay on. Or you can push down for, oh my gosh, for turbo. And by the way, did I tell you this has 1,350 lumens? Yeah, you hurt me. You hurt me right. It's 134,000 candela, baby. But you can uh, press down hard to keep that bright and then let go and it turns off. Or if you press down hard and leave it, it'll stay on. So your light and heavy options on the back depend on whether you hold down or you hold and let go. It's gonna be, oh my gosh, that is so freaking bright. And by the way, if you hold the tail switch down and hold the side cap, you can switch it from regular mode to tactical. So if you want it to where when you hold it down, you can strobe, you can do that also. And these come in matte black or this beautiful OD green and check that out. Oh my goodness, it just, it feels so good in the hand. I And if there aren't specs that I'm listing or that I'm telling you about, they have a spectacular website. You can see everything. You can see what great aluminum this is made out of. I mean, you could probably see grandma's ideas and thoughts on it, but this goes from five and if, well, I'm not gonna give a whole tutorial because I have many, many, many Olight videos, but you have moonlight mode, which is five lumens. And by the way, I think this thing runs for, it's like 70 days or something crazy like that on moonlight, but it'll go from moonlight to 15 to 150 to 650, and then you double tap it and you get 13 150 lumens and something really cool. I love a thrower, right? This is a thrower. It has a nice tight beam, but it has a lot of spill. So you can still see surrounding the area, which I like that from when I'm walking the dogs. I like the beam, but I also be, like to be able to see where I'm walking at the same time. So it has a really good mixture of both. And the size of this is just right. You know, I have a large with hand. It fits my hand and I like that it's not thicker. It has just the right dimensions. It's five and a half inches long and it's one inch, uh, one inch wide right here in the center. So it's just that perfect size. It's, it's, I don't know that you'd call it an EDC unless you, you're like me and you carry a backpack where this is be, this will be perfect in my backpack or in your truck, or you can have, you know, I do really like this uh, this sheath right here. And by the way, it also comes with the magnetic charging. You have to remember there's people that have never seen Olight stuff. This is how they charge. It's just that freaking simple. You don't even, you can just unclip it off your belt, get it close to the charger or, <laughs> or the clip. And you know, if you don't like this, which I've turned, it's turned out, I didn't know how I was gonna like this. And when I got this with the Seeker 4 Pro, I, I've really come to love how easy it is just to clip it on and off my belt. Sometimes I wouldn't even put it on my belt. I'll just put it on my pant, right on the side of my pants. And then we'll go out and I'll take the, take the dogs for a walk and then I'll come back and then you can just pop it right on and charge it up. 
But I really do appreciate what they did with the size of this flashlight. I was, I was gonna say knife, you know I was gonna say it. Everything about it, it just, it just screams flashlight perfection. I enjoy it. I like the fact that I have both options and my goodness, this thing is bright. I like having a side switch and I like the tail switch because when I just want to do something light, I know I don't have to press it down hard and I have all the light I need for whatever I'm doing. And if I'm out there, check, I always check for skunks before I let the dogs out. I can pow right in the kisser. So that is the new Olight Javelot. At least that's, that's how I'm pronouncing it. It could be pronounced differently, but this thing is very cool. Oh, and if I didn't say, I think I might've said it, but if I didn't, these are 30 bucks off during the campaign. After that, they're gonna go up another 30 bucks. So if that it piques your interest, you might wanna go check it out, check out some more specs. Now look at this. This is something I've never seen before. This is the O-Tackle T1. What is it? You, what is it? You might ask. By the way, this is magnetically shut. Check it out. So it's a butterfly pry bar. Isn't that freaking cool? And you know what? I found myself, fid this is a fidgeting pry bar. I, <laughs> it's just, it's that fun. And I, and I don't have to worry about cutting myself so I can play around with it and I can fidget with it and I don't have to worry about cutting. Um, that, that right there is very cool. It's fun. I've found myself just fidgeting the heck out of this thing. And here's a look. I like this. It has a little nail puller. And I also like this too. So if, if you're opening packages or opening boxes, it has this beveled side right here. So that's, that gives you an added benefit. And then at the top of the spine, if you can look right here, it's chamfered on both sides. So it's perfect for doing that. You can open bottle caps, of course, and then this dude right here, um, let me see if I can get you in there and get you a look. This goes from four to 12 millimeters for a wrench. And then what I was reading is that this, I guess you can use that for opening oxygen. I'm wondering if that works on acetylene tanks and things like that, but I believe that's what that's used for. But what you see is what you get. It's magnetic. It has a decent amount of, uh, you know, it holds itself together. It's not super strong, so it makes it so it's not uncomfortable to close it. But when it's closed, yeah, you can, you can open it just by swinging it. You don't have to get your finger in there, but I found myself going like this and just messing with it. But this is pretty cool. These are 17 bucks off during the campaign. I think this is a very neat addition to your EDC gear and to my EDC gear, the O-Tackle T1. And last but certainly not least, check it out. This is the first one I've had of these. This is the Olight Arkfeld Pro. It's my very first one. And you may you may know more about it than I do, but it didn't take me very long. I read the I always read the instructions of every flashlight that I get from Olight. This has three lights. It has a white light, a green laser, and a UV light. And something I oh, by the way, this is 1300 lumens, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Something that I thought that was really cool. So here here's your UV light, which is I think this might be the most intense UV light I own now. It is extremely intense, but something I thought was very cool. And no, we're not intense because we're not camping, but we will be camping. We might do a live stream the next time we go camping here coming up in the month, next month or so. But when you have the laser on, check this out. If you double tap, you can have the light on at the same time. Now you can't even see, let me see if I can uh, lower this. There you go. See in the center, there you go. In the center, there's the laser. You can have the laser and the light on. And if you hold it down, while the laser is on, you can still have the flashlight. I like that you could do both modes at the same time. That is very, very cool. And a couple other things that I was excited about when I was reading through the specs, this one has a 1500 mAh battery and it has 43% more battery life than the traditional Arcfeld. I was like, whoa, okay, I'll take it because I love my Arcfelds. I have three or four of them. I absolutely love them. It's a slim design, has a two directional clip. You can see right there. It's just, it's just a perfect everyday carry. This one, for such, it's like a big light and a small package kind of deal because they've made it flat. So it sits in your pocket, in the side of your pocket and doesn't take up a bunch of real estate. So I, I think that's one of the reasons why I really like the Arkfeld so much. And this is the Arkfeld Pro. And I just came up with the idea, so I went and grabbed, here's a traditional Arkfeld, okay? And then here is the Arkfeld, the Arkflex for size reference. Let me see if I can put them up next to each other. Yeah, let's do this. Just to give you some size reference. And then here is the Arkfeld Pro. So that gives you a good idea, a good indication of what you're stepping in. See there, it's not, none of them, none of them are that big. This one is just a little bit thicker, a little bit wider, not much, not a whole lot. I mean, my goodness, if at all. Are they, are they even different? It's the very slightest, and I mean very slightest amount. But if you have a traditional Arkfeld, 
that right there. See, you get a little more length, just maybe a tad more girth, maybe, but definitely a tad more length. And then this one here, if you're not familiar, I'm just having fun at this point. We're going to end the video in here in just a second. This is the Arc Flex. This one is fantastic because you could have it setting like this and they're all magnetic. They're not going to stick because they're pushing each other away, but they all have the same charging system. So if you just have one charger and it's laying there, whatever, whatever O light you have, you can just set it, get it close and it's charging. So anyway, this I'm, I'm having too fun. This is what I do. If you're not familiar, come and hang out every Friday night. Bees blades live at the hive. Oh, right. This is what I do. I get a little sidetracked. I, I have so much fun with everyday carry gear and knives and, and knives and everyday carry gear. <laughs> but I like, I love it. I love it every time I get new stuff from Olight. And this right here, this is uh, pretty cool. Maybe I could get some practice in and learn how to use a ballast song without cutting myself. That is pretty, pretty neat. So tell me what you think about these items. I'll have a link where you can go check out everything that's on their campaign right now. But these, I, I'm excited. I'm gonna go, I'm literally gonna go play in the dark with the dog with both of these right now. My dog loves the laser. Anyway, tell me what you think. Tell me if you have a favorite. Do you like Olight? And what do you think about this right here. Is this their first S35VN? I honestly can't remember. I'm wanting to say maybe they did, but I can't remember. This, I'm, I'm digging it. I love it. If you don't like this color, dye it another color because this is, this is an absolute winner. These are going to sell out. There's no way these are not going to sell out. That is impressive to me. But anyway, I digress. Go watch this video. You really got to enjoy that. And until I see you again in the lives or the chats or the hive stream, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.